Thank you for joining me for another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. I am Carlin, your host for this. Uh, and uh, you may notice right off the bat that, yes, we have another canned beer. The first one was a canned beer. It was the Day Tripper by Indeed Brewing. If you haven't watched that one, go back, watch it. Trust me, it's worth it. Good beer. Um, another can, uh, not that they're all going to be cans, but we have one here. Uh, you'll notice I have not put the label facing you because on the last one we realized, oh yeah, because this is a camera on a laptop, you see everything reversed. So it's backwards, it's distracting, and there's no reason for it. So you're not going to see it, um, but I'll just tell you what it is anyway. Um, and you also may be asking yourself, what is he wearing? What is this shirt? I am wearing pajamas. Yes, I'm wearing pajamas. Because let me let you all know, real men wear pajamas. So, just a little tip for you all out there. Anyway, today's beer is the Death or Glory. It's a dark saison by Lavery Brewing. And Lavery Brewing is out of Erie, Pennsylvania. <laughs> so, I don't know if anyone out there has had a dark saison or not. I've had a few in my lifetime. Um, when I first heard about it, I thought, very interesting concept of a Saison, but it's maltier, dark. All right, got some good head on that pour. And you know, let's go ahead and see that. Nice um, tan head on that, significant. Obviously, you can't really see much of anything through this beer. It's dark, it's super dark. I can't see anything through it. Maybe a little bit on the edges just looks a little bit a bit tan. You can see through it a little, little, little bit. But it really, the head is pretty much like a, um, is much like a Stouts type head. Hmm. Smells farmhousey. You know, that typical Saison yeast. Um, if nobody's familiar with that, go out and get some Saisons. Smell them, taste them. You'll become very familiar with what the yeast is like. It's got a little hay type note to it but there's significant malt in this and it's kind of like chocolatey mm. it's got a really nice nose to it <sighs> well I'm going to go ahead and taste it mm. you first get a little bit of the malt like a little chocolatiness from the malt um, but then you immediately after that just get a very typical Saison flavor. It's a Saison yeast, a little hay -y. You get a little bit of uh, hops to it, but it's nothing intense. Mm. This is a nice beer. There's a tad bit of a tartness uh, that's peeking out at the end of each taste as well. And I think maybe that's because the malts are tasting a little uh, on the sweet side. Um, when it comes together with that um, farmhouse yeast. Kind of interesting. A little tart, a little sweet. Hmm. More hops than I was expecting, I will say that much. Overall, I would say this is a good beer. Um, so, yeah. Everyone, thanks once again for joining. Death or Glory uh, by Lavery Brewing. Oh, I will tell you, 6.66% alcohol by volume. 6.66, um, the mark of the beer beast. Um, I guess I should just re read you what it says on here. This black Saison combines the best qualities of stouts and Saisons. English malt, American hops, French yeast, and Belgian dark candy sugar meld together to form fruity, toasty, and dark chocolate flavors found only in death or glory. So everyone go ahead, check out this beer if you have any interest in this style. I do recommend it. Thanks for joining us again.